What I find interesting is the fact that the BBC would have this ideology kind of right at the very top of it. I mean, then it implies that it kind of filters all the way through the organisation. Mm. And if somebody came out and said in the office, look, actually, I've got to be honest with you, I don't believe in this gender nonsense, right, uh, that actually they could suffer as a result, potentially, because your big bosses have made an ideological decision, haven't they? Absolutely, exactly. And there'll be women, women throughout the BBC who will be deeply uncomfortable with this because it's undermining you know, their sex-based rights at the same time. And every time, every time, you know, people have to put on the email signature about, you know, what their pronouns are and, and all of this kind of stuff. Um, but, yeah, they're being forced into being silent on this issue. Sorry to interrupt. I, I, know, I know that given the context, what we're talking about, a man interrupting a woman probably isn't the best look. But, <laughs> um, but, um, but I think it's interesting, isn't it? Because, actually, the BBC tries to do a lot of lovely, fluffy stuff, you know, Women's Day and all this, that and the other... But actually, if we take this to its logical conclusion, the BBC really isn't standing up for women's rights in the workplace, is it? At all, no. I mean, we could argue, actually, that the BBC has a serious problem with women. You only have to look at the fact that, you know, 74% of prosecutions for non-payment of a licence fee are against women when women only commit 26% of all crimes. You know, there is a, there's clear discrimination going on at the right at the heart of the funding of the BBC. And they refuse to do anything to, you know, to counter that and to look into, look into what's going wrong there. And we know what's going wrong there. It's the fact that they send out these burly guys to knock on doors when there's far more chance that a woman's going to be in the house. So, you know, it, it's deeply discriminatory. So at the core of the BBC, you know, there is a, they, they have a problem with women. And we only see that all the way up to this sort of programming and this sort of campaign positions on this woke agenda. And, um, yeah, I think it's it, it, it's deeply worrying. But, you, you, you know, with, like you say, with Women's Day this and with the, women don't care about all of that stuff. You know, Women's Hour that they have on, you know, uh, the radio. No, who, who listens to that anyway? You know, what women actually care about is, you know, the erosion of their sex-based rights. So, you know, it's far more important that, you know, yeah. women and, and girls are safe. So... Mm. This virtual yeah. signaling is just it's not needed.